Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your end of March love reading. Thank you for your patience. Remember to use your common sense. This reading will not resonate with every single person. I'm going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break into that tarot deck. We will reveal this card at the end. This is for Scorpio, the end of March. What do we have for Scorpio and love? Scorpio in love. Scorpio in love. Oh, two of cups. That's nice. That is. That's affection, love, romance, perhaps a reconciliation. Could be a new partnership. Moving away from a difficult situation. You know, I'm going to get some more cards. Woo! Okay. Okay. All right, well, you know, somebody is moving away from a difficult situation. And I feel like, you know, there's been some criticism. Unfortunately, there's been some criticism. There's been some sort of um, a feeling like you're being attacked by somebody. You know, there's unnecessary drama here. We have Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius in the reverse, okay? When this queen comes up in the reverse, it is somebody that can be very aggressive and who appears to be helpless and is a victim, okay? So you may be dealing with somebody in that energy that has a victim mentality. It's never me, it's not me, it's not me. This person is lacking confidence and energy and strength in the reverse. So you may be moving away from this situation Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, this is just uh, leaves me speechless because, you know, and I have been had this deck for for a long, long time, and I use it all the time. So, I mean, there's 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 a reason for this, okay? So many of you are dealing with a fire sign that lacks energy. They're not being honest. They are unable to probably even make any moves at all, okay? They lack passion. They lack, um, they're unreasonable. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who is very unreasonable. They're just, they're letting their ego get in the way. And I don't know who this is, but if you wanted to, I know that the cross watchers won't want to hear this. And even some of the watchers won't want to hear this. But feel free to look these cards up in reverse, Okay. You're dealing with somebody who lacks energy, drive, and passion at this time. They may be very greedy, and they may be very unreasonable. Lack of communication as well. So, beware. And you may be moving away from this situation, okay? The truth is here. You're being offered the truth. You're being offered clarity. And this is, there's a lot of, this unreasonable, unreasonable, unreasonable. You could be dealing with somebody who is, you know, doesn't even know what they're saying. Okay? You know, you could be dealing with somebody who is saying things without even thinking.
Yeah, it's like there's 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 no action being taken here. You're dealing with somebody who is, I think, is all talk and no action. All talk, no action, okay? That's what I see. All right? Somebody is not, there's lack of passion, okay? I mean, there is. There's lack of passion here. And I feel like somebody has given up. There's a victim mentality. And it's not you. I think you're dealing with somebody who you may have strong feelings for. But they are all talk and no action. And you know the truth. Yeah, there's lack of communication. There's lack of communication in regards to this commitment. This is confidence, self-respect. Look at the fire here. You guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Okay? And somebody wants a commitment. Who wants the commitment? But here there's lack of forward movement. There's lack of, lack of communication. You're dealing with somebody who does not communicate effectively. And when they, when they do communicate, they aren't telling you the truth. Okay? They aren't. They are telling you the truth. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. And I know that's what you want to believe. That it does lead to wish fulfillment. But I don't think it does. There's lack of hope. And you know, I feel like it's time to make this decision. It's time for this You need to become clear in regards to what you're looking for. You need to become clear on your choice, okay? With the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups reversed, it's time for you to be clear, all right? Make the choice that you need to make. You know, and I feel like many of you, you don't want to be alone, right? I don't want to be alone. Somebody's feeling very ungrateful. They're losing money. They're not happy about where they're at in life. I'm not happy. Somebody isn't happy. But they don't want to be alone. There's codependency here. You're dealing with somebody who may be with you just because they don't want to be alone. Upright, this person is fine being alone. Reversed, she is not. Somebody's refusing to learn the lesson. I don't want to learn this lesson. Please don't make me. The future's in your hands. It is. The outcome will not be told because free will plays a part. You have lessons to learn and you're refusing to learn them. And that is what I'm trying to say. This is the hand of God offering you a raw opportunity in love. But I think that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have the best of intentions. You may be feeling withdrawn or the other person may be feeling withdrawn. Somebody is... If there's like emotional blackmail here. Oh, it's but like I said earlier, somebody is is they're all talk and no action. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. But in reality, they're withdrawn from you or you're withdrawn from them. There's some sort of withdrawal here, cold heartedness. I'm not sure that's you. Ooh. You know, you're dealing <laughs> look at this. Oh my God, you're dealing with somebody and you got look, three kings reversed, okay? You're dealing with somebody who's controlling, manipulative, 
looking for the roof over their head, looking, they're codependent, they don't want to be alone. Very materialistic, very, very, very materialistic. You're dealing with somebody that is not interested in the love. They're interested in the security that you offer with the three kings reversed. You're dealing with somebody who's in for the security, not for the love. And I'm sorry to provide you that message. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice, okay? This is a contract. I don't know what it is, but I think it's a it's not real deal. It's not the real deal. I think you have a new opportunity in front of you. You're at a crossroads and you have a new opportunity for love. I do. I feel like you do, but the thing is is that you're unable to learn the current lesson over here and to see the new opportunity. Because you have to walk away from something first. You have to turn your back on something first. For you to find this and this. There's illusions and confusion here, right? There is. There is. Something is not as it seems. And you know it. Your intuition is telling you. Your dreams are telling you. Your dreams are telling you something. With this card and the Ace of Cups, whatever your dreams have been telling you, they're true. Something is not as it seems, and you know it. Someone is letting their fear keep them someplace. Fear of the unknown. There's no, no chance for whatever this is, okay? There's no chance. And I think that if you would be patient, your ships would come in and bring you stability, security, and abundance. But I think that you need to go slow. You need to wait. You need to work on yourself. You are being tested right now. Be patient. Be patient. I do feel like there is a new love in the future for you. But I think right now you're still messed with somebody that doesn't is all talk and no action. That's what I see. Again, that's still in the bottom. I guess I didn't shuffle, huh? See, what I do is I hold my deck like this. And I turn it over. It's reversed. Okay. This is, this is the end of a contract. There's too many conflicts. So you guys may be walking away. There's walking away because there's no more chances left with probably this fire sign. Because I think you have somebody else. And you're probably dreaming about this person. I don't know. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, both of these. Anyhow, I feel like one of the reasons you're stuck in this predicament is because I don't want to be alone. Somebody doesn't want to be alone, whether it's you or the other person you're dealing with. Somebody just doesn't want to be alone. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of... There's, 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 it's, it's too heavy. Something is too burdensome. And somebody is unable. Unable to speak the truth. There's conflicts. Somebody thinks they know more. They, they, they're they know-it-all. You're dealing with a know-it-all. And I think that you're trying really, really, really hard to make something work with somebody who 
is self-centered, lacks the ability lacks the ability to communicate truth. I'm serious. I mean, with all these these fire signs reversed, I mean, you're dealing with somebody who has a victim mentality and poor, poor, pitiful me. Please take care of me. I can't live without you. I love you all my heart, but you know, it just really, in all reality, I don't want to be alone. Somebody has become really, really lazy in this situation. A lot of laziness here. You really need to focus. Focus on your future. What do you want? You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. That's what that means. Fear of change. I'll hold on to you even if I know that I deserve better because of this fear with the moon card as well. There's fear of the fear of change, fear of the unknown. You guys are holding on to something that doesn't serve you when it's really time to move on. It's time for you to realize the truth <laughs> and to start something new. I feel like you guys have a new stability, a new security, a new partnership, a new something around the corner if you would accept the truth of the current situation. And I think that the end of this month is probably about coming to grips with this person that has no energy and isn't speaking the truth, isn't, I'm the victim here, and wah, 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 is who they are. You know, coming to that reality, this is never going to change. This person lacks drive, this person lacks energy, this person lacks confidence and courage, and is weighing me down. So I feel like this is the, you know, you guys are still holding on though. This is you holding on, reversed. I mean, it is. You are holding on to something that doesn't serve you when you have a new opportunity right in front of you. And a new opportunity is right in front of you if you would just realize the truth. <laughs> and be patient. I mean, that's what that says. You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you when you have a new opportunity right in front of you. But you're holding on to something. It's time to realize the truth. This is realizing the truth. And be patient. And let go of this heaviness. You guys are in complete denial. This is denial. Is that damn car still on the bottom? I'm telling you what. You don't, guys, don't have to like me. I really don't care. Remember, this will not resonate with every single person and all negative comments will be deleted. This is meant to resonate with whoever is meant to resonate for. Common sense would tell you that. There is an end of a contract on the horizon between two people. Because somebody is not being honest. <sighs> Animal kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. Animals don't lie, do they? They don't. 
They're loyal. They don't judge you. They're free-spirited. And they usually never leave. They never try to control your actions. And they don't need a partner either, do they? And not saying that you don't need a partner, but they're free spirited. That's what they are. They're very patient. They are. They wait and wait and wait and wait. Animals do. They wait for their mate to show up, don't they? So anyway, you take it as it is. This is for the end of March. I feel like there's there could be an end of a contract on the horizon because somebody is not being honest and it's very burdensome. And you're holding on to something that isn't meant to be. And I think one of the reasons it's being held on to is because of codependency and the fear of the unknown, the fear of change. There's a lot of fear here. If you're single, there could be an opportunity for new love, but I don't, I don't think so. There could be with somebody from your past, because we do have the Ace of Cups, wherever it is, the Ace of Cups or the Six of Cups. There could be an opportunity with somebody from your past. There is somebody from your past here. And this could be the person that you are might be reconciling with in the future that's waiting for you. With the Two of Cups. But you're messing with the wrong person right now. And this could be somebody from a past life or somebody that you've been with before. But I think that if there, if you, there is somebody here that you are meant to be with. There is. There is. But right now you're messing with the wrong one. And refusing to learn this lesson, wherever that world card is, that needs to be relearned. Because you're holding on to somebody that isn't the right one. And that, therefore, you're not learning your lesson. Or, this, you know, this. but for singles, I think that, you know, there is an opportunity, if you've already let go of the wrong one, to be, you know, a reconciliation with the right one. And I think this is somebody you know, could be somebody from a past life. Or somebody that you've been with before. But I feel like you have to turn the bat your back on this wrong one first. But, you know, that's really hard to do when you don't want to be alone. Anyway, that's what I got. Talk to you later.